Good morning, investors and traders. In today's segment, we'll be focusing on the US Tech 100 index, which seems to be in trouble once again. Now, where is the opportunity for investors and traders? That is the focus for this particular video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, I highly recommend you to do so. And here is a brief risk disclaimer and risk warnings in front of you. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch with your own account managers. A bit about myself, I come with a wealth of 15 years of trading experience. During this time period, I worked as a hedge fund trader for Bank of New York Madden, as an equity trader with Bank of America, and currently work providing services as a chief analyst for evertrade now the chart which is in front of you is the chart for the nasdaq 100 index and the time frame is your daily time frame as you can see from here now what we see in terms of the price action is quite a few interesting things firstly this is your 200 day simple moving average followed by that is your 100 day simple moving average and then you have your 50 day simple moving average now generally speaking when the price breaks above the 50 day simple moving average like it did over here this kind of gives us the first indication the first signal that the price is bulls are gaining strength and then when the price breaks above the 100 a day simple moving average like it did over here that gives you your another signal that the bulls are gaining further strength the third one comes when the price breaks above the 200 a simple moving average now as you can see clearly from this chart that the price failed to stay above the 200 a simple moving average and continued to trade below that particular moving average now just like how we have the indications as the price breaks above them shows the signs that the bulls are in control of the price the opposite is also true when the price begins to break below these important moving averages meaning that bears are now in control of the price or the bulls are losing control so the most important thing that for traders and investors that matters the most is this 50 day simple moving average and where the price is trading over here now as long as the price continues to trade above the 50 day simple moving average on this time frame we have hopes for the for this particular rally to continue and then continue its direction to the upside however if it breaks below this 50 day simple moving average we are very much likely to go towards these particular lows which were formed back on the 11th of march so around that time period so that is the general consensus when it comes to the price action that we are really looking at on the daily time frame now where are our important support and resistance zone for our resistance zone because it's already red so let might as well just use that as a resistance we're going to keep that where the price recently went and then failed to break above that so that is 15,131 and 15,264 now as for our support zone i am going to target the lows of the pre the previous lows as your uh, as your support zone now because these are your support zones so we have to change the color for this particular line to green and i'm going to do the same for that one as well so we will change it to green now we have two different important price levels one as 12,962 to 13,179 as your potential support zone and then we have our resistance zones over here and then in between that we have our this intermediate support zone which is right over here near that 50 day simple moving average and that is an, another area that we'll be paying close attention to to as an buy area see if the price comes and respects it and then it begins to move from there onwards to the upside now as for the rsi it is trading in the downward direction it is moving away from its overbought area and then moving towards the oversold area of 30. So keep an eye on these ones and we'll be back with more analysis very soon. That's all for now. See you guys next time.